Grace and peace to you. Hello, my name is David Palmer, lead instructor for the Certified Lay Minister Training Program here at BeADisciple.com. On behalf of our gifted faculty team, welcome to this online educational program for Certified Lay Ministers and this detailed program and course overview. We begin with why. The overarching objective is to prepare and equip you to serve Jesus Christ with excellence in your future ministry as a certified lay minister. The certified lay minister program is a vehicle for engaging dedicated laity and church leaders in valuable Christian service with congregations and communities. The fields of involvement are varied and almost limitless. Pastoral guidance for congregations and youth leadership, visitation, evangelism, worship and liturgical leadership, mission field related programs, covenant discipleship, and study group leadership, to name just a few. The arena of mission and ministry is as diverse as the needs in your specific geographic location. This is often called our context. The world is truly in need of discovering God's plan of loving mercy in it. You are an important part of this wonderful journey as we discover new pathways to make it a reality. Our prayerful plan for this course and all of our CLM modules is that you will find them well organized, enjoy excellent learning support, and you will discover additional clarity in discerning your call as a certified lay minister. And as you do, you'll receive helpful mentoring as you live into the CLM program's overarching objective. Allow me to share a bit about our CLM faculty team. Our CLM instructor team are all certified lay ministers. We are credentialed in our respective annual conferences, and each of us serves our local United Methodist Church congregations and provide program leadership and certified lay minister duties in a broad range of roles. Each of us provides a detailed bio in Blackboard within each of the modules. As UMC certified lay ministers, we are active in our personal and corporate faith walks. We share a common foundation as experienced and successful Christian educators and instructors and in, in teaching online courses and hybrid blended learning courses. We share a common passion and enthusiasm for teaching and mentoring others, and each of us has answered the call to mentor, help prepare and equip CLM learners. We are honored and eager to share our calls to serve Jesus Christ with you in our role as faculty members on the CLM instructor team. Our prayer is that you will continue to discern and receive affirmation of your call to Christ's service as you work through these training modules, that you will come to see, as we have, that lay ministry is an essential part of building God's kingdom and making disciples for the transformation of the world. The online CLM training program, as you have no doubt discovered, is comprised of the four required training modules Module 1, Call and Covenant for Ministry. 2, The Practice of Ministry. Module 3, Organization for Ministry. And the fourth module, Connection for Ministry. The world in the church needs an active and growing lay servant ministries now more than ever. Certified lay ministers are a vital part of the life and ministry of the United Methodist Church. CLMs are credentialed laypersons having completed a specific program of study. And we have vital roles to play in the life and ministry of the church as detailed in the UMC Book of Discipline. As you walk through these four training modules, you will discover on a deeper level precisely what that means for you. We will keep you bathed in prayer that you will find fullness and joy with your own calling to Christ Jesus ministry. The certified lay minister is not a clergy person, nor are they an ordained deacon who uniquely connects the church to the world in that ministry. 
The CLM is not quite a licensed local pastor who is appointed to serve a specific local congregation or charge. The CLM is not the same as a lay speaker who answers the call to actively preach and serve in that laity role. Some certified lay speakers do move on after serving a time as lay speakers to become certified lay ministers. Jesus Christ forms the center and the reason your ministry team exists. It then begins with you, your mentoring pastor and the mutual ministry team and your DS, whose specific roles you will be learning much more about very soon. All are essential to your development as a certified lay minister. These are the people that you are interfacing with in your local church context and with whom you will be serving and to whom you will ultimately be accountable as a future CLM. Together with these persons, you will become an essential team that will form and foster your future ministry. Each have roles to play in your training, the development of your draft mutual ministry covenant, and who will prove to be of great help to you as you navigate the credentialing process with your DS and the committees on ordained ministry and laity and the conference committee of lay servant ministries or its equivalent in your conference. As we look more closely at online education and these online CLM training modules in particular, we want to address an important theological and teaching philosophy question some people ask. That question is this, is online education inferior to face-to-face -face training or traditional classroom education? The answer is no, as long as the online education is well organized with clear learning objectives, is easily accessible, meaning that it is easy to navigate and communicate within it, that it requires substantial and accountable engagement of the student with fellow students and the faculty, and is supplemented by face-to-face -face learning and the application of learning. In these CLM online modules, you will discover a high level of course organization, clear course content and elements, blended learning processes that provide for a variety of learning styles, and it provides a dependable platform for a meaningful and excellent training and educational experience. This will also depend on you doing your part as a positive, active, and engaged learner in an ongoing relationship with your classmates and your instructor, with your clergy mentor and your ministry team. In doing so with others, you will achieve our overarching CLM program goal to prepare and equip you to serve Jesus with excellence as a United Methodist certified lay minister. There are two pitfalls or areas of concern to consider when we look at online learning specifically for ministry training and theological education. Those pitfalls are autonomy and anonymity. Autonomy means that you are sitting behind a computer screen or smart device going it alone, just studying and figuring it out on your own without interactions with anyone else. Anonymity occurs when you are not really known to other students or your instructor. You're just a name or a number on a computer screen and not known personally. When you are anonymous, you remain hidden from others. Neither of these pitfalls are part of this online CLM program. We start and end each module with Zoom meetings, with dedicated time for devotion and worship and small group discussion. We get to know one another by name through introductions and discussions and the sharing of our faith stories. The courses include ongoing written discussions where regular feedback and encouragement is received from your fellow learners and your instructor. The ability to ask questions remains present throughout the course. By organizing and delivering our CLM program in this way, we have constructed a blended interactive model of learning that has a highly effective and proven track record for ministry training because it is built upon relationships. We understand that excellence in Christian ministry is ultimately and most importantly 
and endeavor based upon Jesus Christ, God's amazing grace, and sound relationships with others. And so, the two antidotes, the solutions to overcome autonomy and anonymity are activation and accountability. Activation occurs through being known, engaged with other learners and the faculty, and with your mentoring pastor and your mutual ministry team, together accomplishing the learning objectives. This is being accountable. Accountability occurs best when you look into another person's eyes and see them face to face. They know you in your own place. They know your family, your loved ones, your character, your honesty, and your integrity. They know your story. This happens best in the context of the local church and when you, within your district and conference. This Be a Disciple.com online program serves to prepare and equip CLMs, you, as we develop together. And you'll do so with your mentoring pastor and your team. Forming a broader base, a strong foundation of activation and accountability in you. It is important for you to know that our CLM program is actively addressing the pitfalls through careful attention to detail, course organization, engagement, and interactions, all in a blended learning format that both activates and makes CLM learning an accountable relationship dependent process. You as a learner must now play your part to achieve success. The process to become a CLM is not unlike climbing a steep hill. Keep in mind that the completion of the CLM training program is an important part of the process to apply to become a certified lay minister, but not the only part. There are more application steps unique to each annual conference that will be required. Also, only a district superintendent and the bishop can ultimately activate you, that is, credential you, into your call as a CLM. Your assignment as a CLM is formal, and it is a cause to celebrate within your local church as an institution and as the body of Christ. Neither be a disciple or our faculty team can credential you through the successful completion of the online courses alone. Only your district committee on ordained ministry, your DS, your bishop, and with the support of your, your pastor and the local church or charge conference will ultimately activate you and approve you in your call as a certified lay minister. Remember that the decision to approve your credential as a CLM is a process that will include your local pastor and charge conference, your district superintendent, your district committee on ordained ministry and the conference board of laity or lay servant ministries. This means that you can complete all four of your CLM training modules successfully and yet not be guaranteed that you will ultimately become a certified lay minister. You will stand for review and assessment by the groups that have responsibility to assure the rigor and excellence of certified lay ministry in your conference. On behalf of our ViaDisciple.com staff and our CLM instructor team, we want to share this important aspect of the CLM program with you in order that you will clearly understand that successfully completing the CLM training is an important part but does not meet all of the certification and application requirements as already mentioned. After successfully completing the training, you will have to complete your specific conferences certification and application and certification process. It's important that you know that there are differences between annual conferences, although there are some common elements. You will want to communicate early with your district or conference director of lay servant ministries and your district superintendent to become knowledgeable about the CLM certification process in your conference and in the context of your local church and your community if you have not already done so. Although this process may seem onerous or highly complex at first look, 
It actually demonstrates the value of our relationships our, and our connection as United Methodists, millions strong. And it also points to the rigor of the CLM certification process, which maintains high standards for certified lay ministers, whose call to serve is so important and is, at its core, a trust relationship with any congregation or context. The BeADisciple.com online CLM program meets or exceeds the required learning objectives published in the current editions of the United Methodist Church's Book of Discipline and in our Lay Servant Ministries catalog of course descriptions and equipping resources. This online program is an additional option to supplement but not supplant any existing CLM training program in any annual conference. Therefore, if your annual conference already has a CLM training program, be sure to communicate with the director now to gain the understanding you will need to meet your conference's expectations and requirements. The acceptance of the BeADisciple.com CLM program courses rests with your annual conference and your district. Some past learners have asked if they can attend the CLM courses for personal edification. The answer is yes, as long as it is understood that the context, intent, and design of the modules are intended and principally for those persons pursuing the CLM training to formally become eligible for certification as lay ministers. To become a successful certified lay minister serving with excellence, you must assure that you establish full offline accountability beginning with effective communications with your pastor mentor, your mutual ministry team, your DS, and your annual conference directors. It is our continuing prayer and goal that through this CLM training program, we will help meet the ongoing CLM training needs of annual conferences that do not currently have an active or accessible CLM program option. Our updated CLM program shines the brightest when it well equips and prepares people to step into their calling as certified lay ministers within their churches and on their districts and in their conferences. Welcome to CLM 101, our first module in the four-part course series that comprises the required training for certified lay ministry. Module 1 examines the United Methodist Church's theology and ordering of ministry, along with the role of the certified lay minister and other leadership concerns. Alongside fellow students, you will discover how CLMs fit into the big picture of the ministry in the United Methodist Church, and through conversation with your fellow students, you'll begin the process of discerning your own call further. This course reflects the Lay Servant Ministry Changes found in the 2016 Book of Discipline of the United Methodist Church. In this online module, we will be working through the Module 1 Participant Guide, Call and Covenant for Ministry, which is included as an online electronic book resource in the Blackboard module in those materials. And we will focus on our clear course learning objectives. We will engage with each other in two Zoom meetings and through online written discussion forums, sharing with others how each of us is called to ministry and how we might live that out as certified lay ministers. You'll be meeting with your mentoring pastor and mutual ministry team with the objective of sharing with them the CLM process and also crafting a draft written mutual ministry covenant at the end of the course. This course format allows you to share this learning experience with others who are also called to become CLMs or who are seriously exploring this. This and future modules provide a sense of companionship, camaraderie, and mutuality that you simply would not get otherwise if you were doing all the work independently. This is an interactive course. Our process as instructors and mentors is to foster an engaging learning environment where you will exchange and discussion postings with your fellow students on a virtual daily basis and receive feedback 
occasional challenges to go a little deeper and regular encouragement from our faculty. We will be available to you to help you through the course process and through each subsequent module. As you know, your work will be accomplished in relationship. If you have questions as we go along that's relevant to the whole group, please post it in the Ask Your Instructor discussion board. You will find instructor feedback responsive. On this slide, we'll look at the lower screenshot first. You see the light green arrow that's canted downward. This is the Ask Your Instructor discussion board link. If you have a question that might have mutual benefit for the entire course group, please ask it here. It will be visible by all fellow learners, as will the instructor's response. If you prefer more one-on-one -on -one, uh, feedback or you have a clarification question, something you'd like to discuss as an individual concern, the dark green arrow points in the navigation panel to the email, your instructor, tab. Simply click on that and you'll have one-on-one -on -one, uh, email communication with your instructor. The red arrow then points to the discussion board. Again, this particular screenshot is a uh, of our discussion board page in CLM 101. This is a uh, location where you can simply click on the discussion board tab and it will take you to the full discussion board where you can see all of the discussions planned for the course. As we look at the upper screenshot, this is the announcements landing page. Each time you log into Blackboard and the platform for the course, you will land on the announcements page. All subsequent announcements will post and will be visible uh, to you here. The yellow arrow points to the uh, announcements tab in the navigation panel, although you will land there each time automatically. And then the red arrow points to the assignments navigation tab. And this will be an important one to click on and uh, make sure you can do so efficiently as you enter into this course and the platform. So together, these five arrows uh, point to the essential navigation points. Uh, that is the, the places that you need to go and interact with this course in Blackboard. These modules provide a platform where you and other CLM candidates from around the country and across the connection can connect, collaborate, and journey together in a well-designed learning process. You will enjoy and benefit from this network of new colleagues. And as you share your faith experiences and learning, you will grow. Along the way, you'll also build a stronger and deeper relationship with your pastor and your mutual ministry team. The online Blackboard course platform will guide you through the material with clarity, serve as an excellent communication tool, and provide a means for you to receive excellent peer and instructor support and for you to give feedback as well. You cannot mess Blackboard up. You cannot make a mistake. You won't destruct or destroy anything of note. And so we encourage you to navigate, <clears throat> pardon me, to navigate fully and all around. By all means, reach out to your course instructor as a mentor and pose any questions or concerns. Communication is key, and please don't hesitate to do so at any time. Here we want to highlight three keys to success in our CLM program. We believe that these consistently will help students uh, master the courses and be highly successful. The first key is to thoroughly familiarize yourself with the course objectives, uh, the assignments schedule, including the offline meeting planning information, Zoom dates and times, and the invitations and then the discussion forum assignments. All are easily found in the course navigation panel using the tabs contained therein. The second is to read the assigned material and to work steadily as you complete the work for the course. And thirdly, communicate, communicate, communicate. Please communicate without hesitation any question or concern that you have 
If one-on-one -on -one communication is desired, use the Email Your Instructor tab. If it is something that has general benefit, use the Ask the Instructor link in the discussion board. As we prepare to conclude our presentation, a quick summary brings us to where we have come. As we've welcomed you, we have looked at our why and the overarching objective of our CLM program. We've considered the roles and the place in the life of the ministry of the United Methodist Church that CLMs hold. We've discussed our faculty and our background and our commitment to honor our call as we serve as the instructors for the CLM program. We've looked at who lay ministers are and who they are not, and the composition of your certified lay minister uh, ministry team. We've answered some questions about online education and program excellence and the design of our CLM training program. We've looked at the CLM certification process and the fact that it is a hill to climb, but so worth it. And then the rigor of the CLM process and the fact that a CLM serves and at its core, it is a relationship based on trust and faith in Jesus Christ. We've considered where the standards of excellence are drawn from for our program. We've looked at CLM 101 in a quick snapshot and how to navigate in Blackboard this course and subsequent courses as well. And then we've looked at keys to success. On behalf of our CLM instructor team, be assured we are here to support and to encourage you to help you along your CLM journey. We work with a wonderful Be A Disciple staff who are also here to help. After finishing this presentation, it's a great time for you to navigate in the announcements and the assignments and the discussion board tabs and pay particular attention to Zoom meeting number one for date, time, and agenda information. We are looking forward to our next two weeks together in CLM 101 with a gentle eye looking ahead to modules two, three, and four. As you have questions, please don't hesitate to communicate with your instructor. Receive now this memorable quote from gifted theologian and Christian writer Frederick Beekner: The place God calls you to is the place where your deep gladness and the world's deep hunger meet. And this scripture passage from Ephesians chapter 3 verses 20 and 21. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. We extend blessings and Christ's peace to you. Let's get started.